Hey guys, it's Marcus from Ascensionism, and in this video we're going to talk about how to repel with a munter hitch. Now a munter hitch is a type of knot that you can tie using only a single carabiner that allows you to belay or repel without a device. In this video I'm just going to touch on the repelling kind of use of the munter hitch, we're not going to talk about belaying at all. Now, munter hitch repelling is something you can do in an emergency scenario where you don't have a belay device, but you still need to get down a steep section that kind of isn't, it's too difficult, it's too steep, and it's too technical for you to walk down or to down climb, so you need to use a repel. And there are other methods to do that, and if you want to learn more about those other methods as well as the munter hitch, I have a longer video about it up there. I'll kind of throw that up in the corner right there. Additionally, if you just want to learn about kind of a six carabiner repel, which is similar to the Munter Hitch, except it uses more carabiners and is different in a few ways, I have a video on that as well, and I'll put that up there. So the Munter Hitch, as I said, is basically just one knot that you use. Uh, I'll just unscrew this here. It's a knot that you tie that allows you to use a single carabiner to repel, and because of that, it's really handy in certain situations because you almost always have at least one spare carabiner on you. So that means you can use this in a variety of scenarios and it's kind of always something you can keep tucked in your back pocket to pull out whenever you need it. So we're just gonna move over to the rope here. I'm gonna move the camera and we'll go over how to tie it. So we're all set up here. We're gonna go over how to tie the munter hitch. Now you can use it with a single strand or a double strand of rope. In this video, we're gonna do double. But if you ever need to, you can do the same motions with just a single strand of rope. So one of the good things about the Munter Hitch is that it's super easy to tie. So you want to take your rope like this, and you just want to kind of move it across in both hands, like so. And then what you do is you bring your right hand over to your left hand so that the rope forms an upward facing loop like that. right? And then pinch kind of all four strands of the rope pinch it with your left hand. You want to take the bottom half of the rope with your right hand, just like so, reach behind and through the knot, and then grab a hold of the left side of the loop. Once you have that, you pull it down, kind of through itself, and you end up with this. And you can see you've basically just created a hitch like that, where the rope passes through. That's why it's called the Munter Hitch. And then take your carabiner, clip it through those four bottom strands. You can then lock that onto your harness, tighten that up, and there we go. That's a munter hitch. Like I said, super easy to tie. And you'll see that when I tighten this up, I can now step off the edge and I can hang from it in a pretty easy repel. And then if I let the rope out, it lowers me down and there we go. So the Munter Hitch is great because like I said, it only takes one carabiner to do. It's a super simple knot to tie and it basically can be used in just about any scenario, single strand, double strand, repel, whatever. Additionally, you can actually use it to ascend the rope fairly easily. So if you ever have to go back up your repels, you can get up just like that and it's not that hard. However, the main disadvantage of this knot is that the braking motion is actually backwards. So if you can see here, if I lower my hand, I go faster. If I bring my hand up, I stop. That's kind of the opposite to what most people are used to when they're repelling. However, holding the rope up like this to lower from feels super unnatural and I wouldn't really recommend it. So instead, what you can do if you find that this isn't enough braking power when you're repelling with the Munter Hitch, you can instead pass it beneath your butt and hold it with your opposite hand, and that creates more than enough friction for you to lower in a controlled manner. Additionally, one of the problems with this knot is that when you repel from it, it does twist your rope up, and it does kind of create a half kink in your rope every time you pull through it. So by the time you get to the bottom of your rappel, your rope is gonna be pretty hopelessly twisted. Um, this isn't obviously the worst thing in the world, especially if you're in a survival situation, then your rope doesn't really matter as much as you getting down safely. 
but it is something that you want to be aware of just whenever you use the munter hitch you know it's not something you should really just pull out at the crag randomly because you're going to have to spend a good deal of time kind of unkinking your rope afterwards so that's my super quick tutorial on how to repel with the munter hitch like i said it's a fairly easy knot you can probably practice it a couple times and be pretty competent with it but it's not the only method to repel uh, without a blade device and it might not even be the best method to do so so if you want to learn a little bit more about those other methods and how you can stay as safe as possible in emergency situations check out my video kind of tagged up in the corner there i go over the munter hitch repelling uh, with carabiners and repelling with just the rope in some body friction repels so make sure you watch that to learn as much as possible about the subject thank you guys for watching and don't forget to subscribe